we've been using classes for a while, but now we're actually going to design one or, or create our own from scratch. Now, a class is basically a bl blueprint from which you can make multiple objects. And whenever you make this object, you're going to use the new keyword. And you can make a lots of objects of a certain type of class. Uh, we're just going to make one class and then really just make one object from that class. Maybe two. We'll make a second one a little bit later. And think of it like a blueprint or a template. And then the new operator instantiates an object of that class. So that's instantiate is the word. Uh, it means you're creating a new object in memory that that uh, variable will point to. I want to warn you, I'm not going to make a time class in here. Uh, you're absolutely encouraged to follow along right here, but I am going to use some of this vocabulary. So we are going to create some instance variables. We're going to start with, I copied all the chapter 10 code in here because I was having a little bit of fun. And what I'm going to do, we'll just use points here. But we're going to create our own point. We're not going to use this uh, built-in one. All right, so first thing I need to do is come up with another name for this. Actually, let's... We don't need an entire array of these things. Let's just go... I have to just use thing. Thing. T equals new thing. Give it an X and a Y coordinate, 100, 200. For reasons I'll explain later, we're going to use we're going to have to send in the graphics object as well. All right, so we got a few problems here. Uh, first of all, thing doesn't exist, so cannot find class thing. So I'm trying to create a new thing, but it doesn't exist. So what we can do over here, come on, create class thing in the right package right there. All right, we're in a new file. So what just happened? It created uh, this thing.java right here, this class thing. Uh, there's still another problem, though, uh, and this is actually very good. Uh, so now thing exists. I wanted to call it point, but I didn't want to call it point because we already had point, so I didn't call it point. Anyways, that's not the point. The point is there's a constructor that doesn't also exist, which is going to be the next thing. Come on. Constructor thing and class thing cannot be applied to given types. Create constructor. All right, now where did that create it? Over in thing.java. So here's a constructor. I'm going to delete all this stuff here. Okay. So I think we got rid of all of our errors. Fantastic, we have no more errors. Doesn't mean that it actually works. We just have no more errors. So we got a thing. All right, now why am I sending it G, the graphics object? Because I want it to be able to draw itself. Now, wouldn't it be neat if it knew how to draw itself? Actually, I'm changing my mind. I'm going to send it on the draw method. I'll send it the graphics object. All right, so we got one problem, which is I changed the constructor to only have two arguments. So let's go back to thing.java. operating on two files at the same time. Let's put them side by side. All right, so I deleted, there's only two integers here, and I don't want to pass in the graphics object when I create a new thing. I'm going to call the thing. All right, so here's another method called draw. Create method draw. All right, so that showed up here on the right side. Oh, don't delete all that. All right. So we got a constructor and a draw method. Now, what I want this thing to do is act just like the point did, where it draws itself on the graphics panel. So it's going to need an int x and an int y. It's going to be private. Well, we'll make them public for now. We'll make them private later. So we got a new X and a new Y. I'm changing the names so that uh, it doesn't conflict up here. X equals new X. 
and y equals new y. All right, so what is this going to do when we create a new thing? The x value is going to, uh, the default x value is going to be replaced by whatever number you send in here, and the uh, y value is going to be replaced by whatever number you send in here when you create a new thing. Uh, now we do know how to draw somewhere up here. Fill oval. There we go. Yes, import the things I need. G. All right, so we're not using a point. We're using our own x value, our own y value. And you can see the highlights right up there. I'm going to use that 6 and 6 right there uh, to draw it on the screen. Okay, so I think uh, we should be good. We're going to make a new thing, which is going to call uh, this thing method right here, which is the constructor. It's going to draw it. There we go. At 100, 200. Uh, let's try uh, maybe 300, 200. Should move it to the right. There it is. All right, so that's looking good.